Uh, my name is Lute Brewer, and I control the hind of Joey, uh, which are the two hind legs and the tail. My name is Isaac Woofter. I am the heart puppeteer of Joey. I control the two front legs of Joey with these two levers that when I pull, when I clench the lever, uh, tendon pulls and makes the leg curl. Um, that chooses the type of gait, whether it's a walk, a trot, or a gallop. And I'm Curtis Jordan and I puppeteer Joey's head, which means it's my job to uh, make him see and make him hear and make him think. I'm the only puppeteer that uh, the audience gets to see predominantly. I'm stood outside of the puppet and I control his ears. When we've studied horses and we, realized, we saw that, that horses have about the same lung capacity as three people, so then we just kind of played and tried and attempted many different versions of what we think would be horse sounds because there's not actually one specific person that knows how to make horse sounds. And also you get a, a richer quality and more variation in the sound when three people make them as opposed to having one that's recorded yeah. or just letting one of us take responsibility for the noises. The fact that all three puppeteers are making those noises live on stage and responding to what they're seeing in terms of the scene, what's happening around them with the other horses and other human characters means you get a greater depth and variation. If we were to do a, a whinny, we might go... <laughs> and then we have a whole kind of other language which includes something called the nicker. And we can do those technically by breathing air in or by blowing air out. So were we to breathe air in, it would sound a little bit like... <laughs> and if we were to blow the air out, it might go... It's a sort of epic widescreen quality to the way it's been staged and that I think is achieved by having the bare minimum of what's necessary to represent scenery and location and, and um, transfer between places. So the less amount of kind of paraphernalia we have on stage means the more room there are for the puppets which really become the essence we pair it right down. Which means the audience's imagination is working in overdrive in a way much more so than an audience that's very trained to go to film or that sees lots of big kind of sets and stuff from, from Broadway shows. Yeah, I feel like we just give them a little bit of an idea, whether it's just a little sketch, just basically a very, very skeleton sketch for the audience to see and then the audience then, with their imagination, really brings it, brings it all together for themselves because they see that and they're like, oh yes, we're here now, oh we're here, you know, now we're here. And I can, they kind of fill in the blanks.